Like, join with me this morning as we pray. Oh, Lord God, we come to you because you're a God who wants to hear our needs. Lord, you, you are honored as you meet our needs. And so we, we bring these things to you. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for those among us who are sick, those who are struggling. Uh, Lord, we, we pray for Virginia as she goes through uh, a double chemo treatment this week. God, that you would just be her strength and her grace and that you would lift her up and, and uh, put your, your healing, loving arms around her. God, we uh, thank you for your work in Ruth's life and we ask that you would continue just to bring healing to her. Lord, for others who are struggling with health issues, Lord, there are, are so many. We ask, God, that you would be their healer. Lord, that they would truly know your presence and, and, God, that you would do what only you can do. God, for those who are struggling and those who are, uh, are grieving and, Lord, going through crisis and, strat- and, and struggles in their life, God, would you just be very near to them? Would you open doors as you see fit? And, Lord, would you bring comfort and grace and healing and strength and empowerment, we pray, because... We thank you, Lord, that your, your very spirit lives within us. Lord, as a church, we pray that we would honor you and that you would <clears throat> work through us as your hands and your feet. Lord, let us love people in your name. And Lord, us, Lord let us uh, be a, a standard for truth, we pray. And God, we ask that as we yield ourselves to you, you would use us. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. And we pray the prayer that he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.